The drivers, characters, and events in Tokar are fictional. Nobody was harmed in the filming of this production. Now sit back and enjoy the race. Welcome to round two for the Goodies Trash Series. Today, we take on the low banks of Auto Club way out west. Gonna be in for a good show today. 50 laps here at Auto Club. This track, we are expecting great, great things from. We learned a lot last year in Michigan. We're at a very similar track today, albeit a much bumpier one. And I think we're in for potentially one of the best races this series has ever seen. I'm Kyle, I'm here with the fellas. Gentlemen, what are we gonna see today? I think it's gonna be a beautiful weekend here, guys. Look at this racetrack. It's so damn wide, you can fit eight cars. You can probably fit more than that. Especially these newcomers, they're very eager to get out here and just show everybody in on the planet what they have to offer inside of a race car. Yeah, personally, I'm a little upset that this is in Michigan. I mean, that's that's just my bias, though, because me being the Michigan boy. Anyways, that's we go there the too. Point. I'm I'm okay. Listen, listen. I'm speaking. It's not Michigan. I want Michigan more. Anyways, regardless, we're here for a great race today. I think. I think if last week was any indication on how this season is going to play out, um, we're, <laughs> we're going to see some awesome wrecks tonight, I think. Um, hopefully we don't hurt anybody, and if we do, well, shit. Anyways, um, good race. Go fast. Turn left. Let's do it. Tristan, ever the pessimist. And we're joined by a special guest commentator today. Breaking news. It's Anthony. Hello. Thank you for having me, uh, the kings of Tokar. I appreciate, uh, I came all the way from the horrific swamps of Florida to be here. Thank you for flying me all the way to California on your dime and not mine, specifically your dime. So thank you. There goes our whole fucking budget. Way to go, asshole. You got me over here from Florida. I, I don't know what to expect. You know, I'm really sad I didn't uh, get to see anything from Daytona. I've actually been banned from the entire uh, city of Daytona. Apparently it is illegal to uh, spank a uh, cop on a horse, specifically the horse. Wait, Why would uh, you do that? I have several questions, but another day, another dollar. Before we get into business today, Mike, can we get an update on injuries? Yeah, it was a relatively tame opener for the Trash Series, but we do have a few people we need to talk about. Dega Dub, you saw his big flip last week. After that, he now has a case of long ligaments, which, pretty self-explanatory, all that flipping, a lot of rotations, just stretches everything out. He was stretched out like a starfish. Uh, probably felt good until it didn't, but that's not going to hold him back because he's racing tonight. Also in that wreck, Spore Tender took a hard lick into the heel of the Safer Barry. Not a good place to hit it. After that, he has a case of Schrodinger's shoulder. If you wonder what that is, because I certainly was, I had to ask the Surgeon General, what the hell does this mean after I read that on the report? He told me that means his shoulder only hurts if you ask him about it. So hopefully his crew chief doesn't ask him for any updates on his health throughout the night or else he's going to uh, start dropping back in the field. And then our favorite father, Dadgum, had a big flip off of turn four. Unfortunately, during that, he actually reported no injuries other than a case of an upset stummy. Because it turns out, during that flip, he swallowed his gum. Not what you want to do, not meant to do that. So he's been trying to pass that all week, but you know what? It's not going to hold him back tonight. Everybody else, just some minor pain here and there, but you know what? That might change the night, because these guys, they're eager to go 15 wide tonight. Well, that's just terrible news, Mike. I'm hoping they feel better soon, especially being in the car today, hoping for a safe race for those guys. But nonetheless, 50 laps, the show must go on. Let's go through today's Travis Quaffle Crockpot starting grid. On pole, it's the criminal himself, Reese Ware in that 86 car. Alongside of him, Mr. Poopy Pants himself, David Krappenschitz in the six car. B3 today is gonna be Victor E. Lane with massive Chris in the wrestling mobile to his outside. P5 today is going to be Lawful Allen. And P6, don't look now, but it's the Nokia. Ali Alakainen. Cam Era, a rare appearance on Cameron. P7 in that 30 car. It looks great. I'm happy we get to see it today. And P8, the drunk man himself, or one of them at least, Clank Bottles. Ninth place today is going to be the three car, the Pontiac Tums Machine, Dale Bernhardt. And rounding out our top 10, the man who did it or didn't, CJ Simpson. Starting in 11th, we've got the 01 Pontiac of Joplin Moore. In 12th, we've got the 54 of Asiago Asiago. Starting in 13th, it's uh, Storm Varnin. I am not going to pronounce his name correctly ever, probably, at this point. Starting 14th, we have the 51 car of Cease and Desist. Starting in 15th, the 59 of Colonel Caleb Rose. 16th, we have Hud Strickland, shouts out. 77 and 17th, 
of Roundback. And in 18th, we've got Spore Tender. Uh, 19th, we've got Derek Polk. And in 20th, rounding out the top 20, it's Lenny Gadinia. Starting 21st, we got David Gutterball still trying to find his first one in, in the league. On his outside, we got Weed Trema. Not going to find any tornadoes out here, but maybe he'll be able to spin up his own. Next row, we got Scubs, fan favorite. Start, start outside of him, Andrew, still uh, still very disgruntled. <laughs> we got Shea Birds in the A car starting behind them. And the plot 55 driver this week is going to be Anthony Von Samsung, hoping to make it a two peat for that team. Behind them, we got Todd the Stained Trousers wetting it up in the 19 car with Sir Blue's hamstring in the 44 behind them. In the next row, we got Kobe Keith in the 90 car and Giuseppe Gabagulli in the 29. Starting 31st will be the number 9 of Wyatt Wilkinson. To his outside will be the 28 of Fragile, <clears throat> excuse me, Fearless Fred Bush. The double zero of the uh, double zero. That's Harvey Quinn. Yes, Harvey Quinn. He will be starting 33rd. Uh, outside of him will be the 18 of Filet Mignon. Electric Bill Landlines, the new driver of the 42, uh, taking over the car for the deceased uh, Claritin Chris. Rip, by the way. Uh, Preston DeWall will be in the 11 car, uh, starting in 36th. 37th, we got Dega Dub in the 67, and then outside, Will, outside of him will be Jackie said in the 07 after a pretty good performance last week, almost winning the race. Uh, we got Walter Pressure. We all know who Walter Pressure is. Uh, he's he had a pretty good he's, uh, pretty good start last uh, last week, and we're uh, we're excited to see what else he can do this season. Um, the 50 car of LW Wrong. Um, he could never do no wrong though, so we'll see if he can get up to the front here. And then rounding out the field, we got. The 34 of Steel Park, and then the 74 of Dead Gum. Well, before things can get underway, let's give it to Jason Payson with the command. Drivers, start your engines! That was not Jason. I don't Jason's know who that was. sassy today. We have to find out who that was. We're going to launch an investigation before this race begins. But since we can't figure it out, we're not detectives after all. Let's call a race. 42 cars roll out. Like I said before, many times actually. 50 laps today. We are expecting potentially the best race we've ever seen in trash. This is a hungry group of drivers. The whole crowd is filled with people with catcher's mitts. They saw Kansas. They know what's going on. Getting word from uh, Rob Pockets. Turns out Lincoln Bar gave the command. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. Wow. I'm sure they have a church of Scientology somewhere near this track, probably. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, moving on to the things that aren't going to, you know, disparage someone's legacy. Jason Payson bringing us down the backstretch. Guys, I'm really excited for this one. I think we're in for a treat. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. It's beautiful. Look at this racetrack. There's so many cracks in it. I don't I've know. never seen a car fly before. I'm really looking forward to my first uh, first time seeing that. Potentially. You're in for a it's treat. It's so bumpy. It's it's so bumpy. I can't imagine anyone staying on the ground today. Well, unlike our next gen cars, these cars don't have the safer wing to keep them off the ground. They're gonna have to hope Mother Nature does them a favor. Maybe a big gust of wind down the back stretch. Just ask Corey LaJoy of Michigan. Hey, here we go, boys. Pace cars in. We're headed to our unsponsored restart zone. Reese Ware brings us another day, another boggy. We're green. Boogity boogity. Great start for the bottom. A very rare sight here in tow car. Usually that outside absolutely destroys everybody on the bottom. Reese is going to get a pretty healthy lead entering turn one. Wasted no time making a three wide for second, though. Or third, excuse me. Here comes Ollie on the top. And Victory and Lane is looking like he wants to take the lead here from the... Is that the 86? I'm sorry. I'm still trying to figure out who's who here. That is, is Reese Ware. Reese Ware. Yep, I knew that. The criminal. Ooh. Oh, 30 pushed all the way up. The 45's in the wall. The 37 oh, wow. followed him. A whole bunch of them. They are ripping top. They are, they'll figure it out. Look at this That's... back here. Five wide. Mike, I wanted to ask you, how long did you think before they got a, at least six or seven wide? I think they only wanted to wait one lap. Jeez. They're just disappointed they couldn't do a triple file start. Maybe one day. Oh, oh man. CJ's just tight. 
I think he oh, did it. Straight up dooring people into the wall here. You'd think he would be able to handle it, you know, Ford Bronco and a Chevy Lumen, I gotta drive kinda close to one another. As you see here, this is gonna be the preferred groove, we think, at least at the start. Oh, Look nervous, nervous. Please just let Gutterball miss it, he's okay. Listen, um, I might be lactose intolerant, but I'm sure that these tires are gonna be looking like Parmesan cheese after this race. Well, there is one thing though, the tire heat, once they build up enough heat, these bottom lanes come alive. At the first few laps of the run, though, as you see here, you're going to want to be in the top two grooves. That's really where all the grip is to start, especially in turns one and two. Oh, oh we got oh, a car spinning. Looks yeah. like it was Clink. I think it was. Clink bottles Giuseppe Gabagulli down there as the field races back to the line. Sir Bluis and P fucking Oh, wait, last. no caution. Oh, wow, you're Look, right. Keep no. her green. Tow car officials have been really lax Man. this season. Clink's just going to be a menace when they catch him now, that's for sure. And we got three wide for the lead. Look at Lawful Allen, and then in the middle, that's Massive Chris. Look at this. And he's going to have a massive lead if he's not careful. 65 pushing all the way up. This is going to be a tight battle off turn two. And here comes Can't the... Oh. Oh. oh! No, the pole sitter. Reese Ware, severe oh, thunders from Vernon. Reese oh. is going to get clobbered. Here we go. This is a big oh. one. Dad Gums in it. Todd the Stain Shrouds is in it. I think I just saw Steel Park somehow find a way to get involved. Oh, well, Dig a Dub, all torn up. You know who benefits from this? This is Clink Bottles, at least. I feel like he had this exact problem at Daytona. I could be wrong, but we have a caution. We certainly do. The field racing back to the line to get scoring in. We can't pay for all those scoring loops. We just have one. It's called the start-finish line, buddy. And they all made it. Let's see what happened. Taking another look here. They're four wide, kinda. They're trying to, at least, off turn two here. It looks like they're going to try to avoid Scubs, who's in the wall ahead of them. Maybe Clint goes down a little bit right in front of Todd to stay in trousers. Todd probably pissed himself yet again seeing that happen in front of him. Clint Bottles, you can just imagine all the cans flying around in there. Doesn't look like he hits anything though, and that might have saved him from getting caught up in the big wreck after this. I'm a little disappointed that uh, the flaps actually worked on the car. That thing should have been sliding at least another 200 to 300 feet. Well, before we get back to what actually brought out the caution we uh we found something else here uh while we were looking through the replays and this is walter pressure oh let's just see what happens here he just oh oh my goodness yeah, but tire go he just down got the wall catastrophic engine failure one of the two i don't he's, think he's, that's an engine he's got it locked up he might just be vaping <laughs> what what that... happened i mean we Listen, saw David I... Dub. oh and he's is he oh. getting out of the car are we sure he can multitask Oh God! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Put the wind in that down. What's going on in that? Something ha there had to have been a mechanical issue or something. That's just oh. that's bizarre. Our two Listen. tow car reporters, Cardwar and Rob Pockets, are probably on the scene. We're gonna get more from those guys soon. Let's take a look and listen on board, Walter Pressure. Man, you know they say animals have this instinct that they know when an earthquake is coming, and they usually book it out of town. Perhaps uh, Mr. Pressure felt the uh, incoming accident, just didn't want to be a part of it. Then want to join his son at the bottom of Lake Pierre. He just quit. Honestly, his generation has been doing a lot of quiet quitting. I'm proud of the loud quit there. Now, the actual caution, we're going to take a look at that now. Um, looks like looks like Reese Ware just kind of got a little love tap by Victor Elaine. That sent Subvert under Storm Varnin around. And then others pile in. You, there you see Kobe. No, I'm sorry. That's Derek Polk. The Colonel goes yeah. around. Big contact. Asiago, Asiago. Asiago, Asiago. Oh, you know what I meant. Strickland, what a miss. Holy. And just, uh, you know, really wasn't as bad as a, as a collection as I thought it'd be, you know? But nonetheless, a lot of damage for a lot of these cars. Gonna have to go down pit road, try to fix up what you can. But I don't think we're gonna take anybody out of the race after that one. All right, we're on board with Hud Strickland here in the 79. Let's see what he sees. Uh, nothing. Oh. Oh. Ooh, we didn't see that. So that explains why the 84 went straight into Anthony Ooh. Von Samsung. Oh my goodness. Uh, a bit of a soft collection, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the hard collection? They're coming. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, more damage for dead gum. Two weeks in a row, guys. <laughs> well, like a name, like saying. That's what they're saying on the pit box. This 74 has had the worst luck possible to start this season. All chewed up. You see here, the whole field coming down pit road. You pit now, this is a relatively short race. You might be able to make it the whole rest of the way. 
We're gonna have to Hi, see Walter. if it shakes out. Walter doing something in the pits. Lord knows what. We still haven't quite gotten an answer on what happened on that 75 team. We do know, though, tires are going to need to be put on their tires, after all. This is a 266.66.6 mile track. Here they yeah, all you gotta come. make sure you get enough tires on your tires, and the racetrack yeah. surface is, you know, uh, the racetrack surface. Doppler more great stop. I think Shave Bur Oh, goodness. That's the last thing you want to see. Is the 30 going to be the leader? 30 is going to be the leader. Cam Arrow, look at that. The whole season going unmentioned to the lead in the trash race at Auto Club. You'll love to see that for them. He had a yeah. pretty good Daytona also. We got to keep that in mind. He was he was mixing it up in the front of the pack for a little bit there uh, last week too. So it's it's good to see him getting these good runs in. And I'm glad we get to hype him up too because look at this paint scheme. Immaculate. And we actually get to show it. you love to see it. If only this track had lights. <laughs> well, thanks to hard-hitting journalism by Cardwar, we actually got the story on this 75. It turns out that despite the fact that these are illegal in tow car, Walter decided to put a Hans device on. The only reason he got caught, he put it on the wrong way. You could see it through the windshield. Tow car officials saw this and turned on the automatic lock brakes on that 75 car. As we saw, it came to a complete stop in turn one. And ever since then, they got it taken out of the car. Walter's back out on track, albeit a few laps down. Hopefully he can get some points today as we head to the restart zone once again. Accessible Jason. use of force. Jason's on the way in. Cam Arrow leads us to this restart with Joplin Moore in second. And now Joplin Moore in first. We're green. Great start by Joplin Moore as they barrel down here into the turn one. And Cam Errol, he's hanging tough too. Good to see him, like we said on the caution. Good to see him up here, up front, having a good run so far. Oh, 97 is all over the 30 car right there. I would not be surprised if they don't make it another lap. Yeah, it's about to it's about to be a massive crash for massive Chris. Oh, oh man. That oh, bottom groove is oh. not ready yet. Oh, 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 they're trying to make it ready. Oh. I saw the last moments of Fearless Fred's life. Thankfully, oh, he's... No. Oh, oh. And, uh, Walter. Walter. Oh, Walter no. Walter again. That's a man with no Hans. And the caution's out. So I don't like that pack fellas. behind these guys. They're like 18 wide right behind this. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, oh, it's, right. it's, it's still might not be over. Oh, Steel Park, no. Okay, we're in. Oh, we nice. The caution's out. I'm vegetarian. Trouble. The wreck's happening behind them, but we don't care about that because look at this. They're going six wide going down into turn one here under caution. Still going 200 and some miles an hour, but you know what? That piss flags are flying. Look at this. You see why he's going to get hooked into the 21 and... Oh. Near disaster. It could have been two weeks in a row we saw a wreck under caution. I, I cannot believe that Harvey Quinn did not get sent to the uh, Shadow Realm there. <laughs> Roseanne! As it looks like what brings this caution out here, Electric Bill Landline's kind of... I don't know if he got shoved in the wall or if he got in the wall at first, but regardless, he got in the wall. Ali Alakainen just gets hooked by Zavertender Stormvarnen right into Walter Pressure. And... You know, that's that'll that's all she wrote there. You know, guys, and, back Rob, up. and Rob Pockets is reporting that wreck. It didn't look like much, but it was enough to knock the pack of Marlboro Reds out of that 84 car. He can't smoke under caution the rest of the race. Welcome back here to Auto Club as we are getting ready for the restart. Anthony, I heard you got a little something for the uh, 84 car here. Yeah, so Mr. Pockets uh, is reporting our, our pit reporter. He is uh, reporting that the crew chief for Oli Ola Kanan is uh, uh, George Peanuts apparently mixed the cigarettes up. So Ollie is used to smoking Marble Reds from what I've heard. He's unfortunately got the fence cigarettes. I, I don't know if he knows. They might be keeping it a secret, honestly, just to see what happens. So maybe a good call, maybe a terrible call. We'll find out in about a couple laps. And he's alongside Clink Bottles, the most inebriated row in sports. Sounds like a party back there. I kind of want to be back there. But well, you weren't invited. I'm never invited to these things. That's all right. Hey, guys, we're going to go green here. Uh, the pace car is uh, about to pull off here. You guys didn't tell me. It's pulling off. I'm talking as we're getting ready for the green. Waiting on the flag, man. And, and we're green. 
And that is the eight car of Shave Burns that is going to take the lead here on the restart. As uh, Cam Arrow still hanging tough here on the inside. Oh, oh they're oh. wrecking in the back. I hear it. Where? You could just hear it. I guess they're not. Where? Where are they? They're not. Uh, was it Jason? Did Jason hit the wall at the end of the period? Wouldn't surprise me. He's a... Oh, we'll, brother. We'll have to get on that later. Look at Filet Mignon. And by the way, LW Wrong is in the lead now. Oh, oh no, Bernhardt. Oh, no. Oh, Bernhardt in the wall. Oh, oh. 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 Steel Park. Oh, oh no. Oh, gosh. Huge, huge oh, the turtle impact airborne. There. Oh, finally. Look at, look at Mr. Pensigs. He's going by. Oh, he's in it. Never mind. All right, fence six was not a good idea. Well, the rest of the field, so good. the rest of the field made it back. Um, it's kind of in one piece. Let's take a look at what the hell happened now. Take a look going through turns three and four, going four wide, almost five with Preston DeWall. Looks like him and Weed made mm. contact, come up, hit the 51. And then the whole top is just blocked. Nowhere for the three car or the 34 to go. Both have a hard hit. Oh, the 55 just barely get in, but he's going to get oh, through geez. fairly clean. 59 car getting up in the air. Our uh, flip fans are fiending right now. So close, but yet there. so far. Foaming at the mouth as we speak. Who's that going down pit road? It's Clink. Clink. He's just getting another beer, probably. He just felt say. like it. There's no strategy there. He just wanted to. Let's take another look here from far away using our Android Super Zoom. As you see there, I can't really tell what's going on, guys. They're all wrecking. Lots of people in there. You see the 59. He's going to get prostate exam. There he goes. Up in the air. Hey, there's our car. Well, you say that like I don't crew chief the 77. He's all torn up. Not a good day for me. A slightly less bad day for you guys, at least. That 55 looks like he snuck past. Thank you, Anthony Va Von Samsung. On board here with Dale Bernhardt. You see he's uh, wall riding a bit. Legal. Oh! Big contact number oh. 51, 34 smacks him. Oh. Oh, Kith there at the end. Oh, oh. What do you, you know doing? what? You know what? Hit him a second time. Maybe he deserved it. He did get a little airborne, honestly. Go for it. What's on the front of that car? I believe that's the NBA logo, Mike. <laughs> Why is that there? Because he's balling. <laughs> Let me bring it back. Hmm. Going to be restarting here on lap 19. LW Wrong and Joplin Moore still leading the race. I'm excited, guys. We're not even halfway, and I'm I'm already more than halfway satiated. Oh, You're speaking for here. all of us. I'm moist, Mike. Uh, no, I didn't say saturated. I'm like, I'm like a waterfall right now, especially when they get six wide. Don't like that. Well, we're just saying that because Joplin Moore is out front, a man known for storms. Uh, taking the lead pretty commandingly there over the 50 on the inside. For whatever reason, that inside line never gets going here in Tokar. But he's powering back up with that bottom line. They gotta get the grip going. They got four grippers on every car. Wasting no time going four wide here. Preston to wall. Oh, fearless friend. He might oh, be fearless. Preston to wall. For him. Washing again. Ah. Oh, oh, oh five him. wide. Oh, Lemmy's oh. bringing it down into the pits. And clink again. <laughs> then I might be feeling the earthquake coming. Yeah, maybe. What a Ooh. weird race. Look at this. I'm looking. Oh, now, you know, they, ban they banned Indy cars from this track because of this style of racing, and all I have to say is cowards. Exactly. Tokar can do it, no problem. Look at Shave in the middle of four wide. He's going to toss it in here to turn three in that uh, Corvette. And Cam Arrow is your leader, by the way. I don't think we mentioned that. Good for him. Very oh, good for waffle. him. But it's waffle not for waffle. Waffle. Oh, oh no. no! That didn't last long. We can't see it. Oh no! It's somebody's got tough. clobbered. Oh! Oh! oh no. Don't come back up. There's, oh. a, there's a much worse wreck Ooh. right behind this. There's cars, I think, upside down. Oh, we have to get a replay. I Derek Polk got turned, and I think he got clobbered. It looks like he's driving away though. Come on, guys. I don't. Did we take the yellow? I don't think we did. I, you're right, actually. I think that lead pack no, is still. Did. No, we oh. did. All right, all right. Oh, man. Let me get there. Not Lemmy's oh. going for it. He wants his lot back, even though he didn't lose one. <laughs> all right, as we see here, they made it actually kind of far down the straightaway before they wrecked. I think the it's going to be, I think, around this 44 of Sir Blewis. Yeah, he's going to get turned right here. Oof. 
Hawkins at the 27. Steel Parks in it. Andrew. There's Derek Polk. I think things are about to get much worse for this group in the back. Oh, oh Sir Jesus. Blewis. Got clobbered by Jack, he said. Dig a dub. Might actually miss one, I think. Maybe not. Nope, there he is in the back. Well, didn't get tore up too bad. I, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was, guys. It looks oh. way worse from a distance. And what happens here? What? And when you... Oh, oh my God. Oh, you know... The 34 can only take so many hits, I think. So oh, one more for good measure. Man, oh man. Looking out the back of uh, CJ Simpson here. You see, oh, wow, Dad come just bodied the 84 down into the grass, but he's okay. They got a lot of that damage from that last crash fixed, and you know what? They might be in position for a top 10 at the end of this one, guys. Oh, and look at Jason. He's flying down the apron over there. Listen, oh, you know, sometimes they say body or be bodied and, and he said i'm just gonna body you with our virtual safety car gonna get out there nice and safe right in front of everybody it's driving lw wrong leading us down the back stretch we're about to double up right here right now maybe not right now right soon i think right right that, yeah there we go right now oh looks like he's gonna choose the bottom what a fucking idiot that never works um filet mignon to his outside Behind that, Cam Arrow, Master Chris, two guys having a great race right behind them too. And don't, is that Hud Strickland? He just pitted while that whole field wrecked. He's going to restart sixth as everybody fixed their damage. What a call for that team, huh? This is why like the... got Sorry. these crew chiefs this week, man, this season. I mean, not all of them know what they're doing, but clearly the 79 team definitely does. And we're green. 18 car, huge launch. He's going to be clear by a mile in turn one here. Excellent launch by the 18. Holy. I think that's the best restart we've seen all day. Both he and Massive Chris are clear. It is a tractor. They're, they are geared pretty low, so those restarts, he's going to have the advantage. Massive Chris wait, wasting no time. He wants to get around him, though. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, RG no, he can't do that. Oh, no. oh. Oh, hard lick. Look at him. Oh, he's hard in the wall. Oh, he's, he's chilling. He's fearless. Good. Absolutely fearless. Oh, and they're green. And they're still green. <laughs> so green. <laughs> We're still racing at Auto Club Dega. Master Chris out to a big lead. The Kubota to his outside. Talking about that restart, Mike. Let's not forget the power band for that tractor is like at 7 RPM. No wonder he got a great launch. Master Chris followed him right to the front. Man. Fearless Fred, what a no better name. I, I thought he was gonna be fucking pissing himself and shitting and everything after that impact, but he's gathered it right up. I don't even think that thing's that bad of damage. Well, you know, in the off season, Mike, let's not forget last season, Fragile Fred at the time, serial bedwetter, kept having nightmares, kept crying himself to sleep. Over the off season, he gave himself insomnia, so now he just doesn't sleep. Problem solved. You can't rattle that man now if you tried. He's on limited time. He's probably seeing the hat man with that uh, limited amount of sleep at this point. Oh, HUD. That car loves pitting. HUD? He just wants Ooh. to pit every lap. Same thing with Clink. I don't know what their strategy is, but it's a dumb one. Four wide. Well, Filet Mignon is in the lead after all that. Waffle Allen making like moves. LW Wrong is trying to take the lead again here. Giuseppe Gabagulli is just ripping the bottom by himself. He has no help at all until now. And he's been passing cars left and right. I guess just right, really. Ooh. But look at this. He's going to get a great run on the bottom. Never mind. Todd, oh, Todd, Todd oh. moved him. Got absolutely bullied like him. bottom to me. Todd didn't even use the bottom correctly. He just said, I want to move you. Look at that 50 car, though, trying to block all the lanes. He end up walking oh. none of them. They're four and wide. They're going to be four wide. Oh, four wide. Lead here. Look at this. <sighs> David Burns. Come on, make it five him. wide. Giuseppe's trying. There he goes. Oh, didn't quite get there, but why it might down to the apron. This is tremendous racing. He might get him here in Something. turn one. That 29 has been hauling the mail. Look at him. I like that the bottom's finally what? really coming in. They're able to hold it. Oh, it's tight back there. Look at the nine car of Wyatt Wilkinson giving it a try down there. Giuseppe's in the lead. Uh oh, contact. Double bricked up four wide. I mean, oh, and oh, don't look man. now. The 21, David oh. Gutterball. He, this could be the oh, day, guys. Five wide, almost for the lead. 
the term the day has and Wilkinson's many gonna get that lap. Well, I'm a gutter baller, loud and proud, and I'm thinking that 21 might find his way to victory lane if he can keep this up. Look at him, down on the bottom, he's gonna get below Andrew here. But not a sport tender or drop more, I guess, have anything to say about it. They're five wide. Oh my god. Has Gutterball led a lap under green? I would be shocked. He might now, though. Here comes here comes Jamie McMurray's own Joplin Moore. Look at oh, Walter! Where's Walter? Look at Walter! Oh, oh my god. Where is. Where is blood going? There's six wide. Walter's not on the lead Walter's lap, by the way. Walter's not even a leader. He's a, he's a lap down. He's three laps down. It's even worse than that. He's Look trying to this. get one of them back. Oh my god, they're going to wreck. How are they holding it? There's no way. They can't keep this up this forever. Is... No. Oh, oh no. no, there it is. Oh, oh. no, no, no. Oh, hard in the wall goes massive Chris. Oh, and they're going to oh. pile up on the outside. There oh. it is. Oh, oh. Oh, and they're just flying oh, in there. Oh, oh my god. goodness! Oh, the Colonel clobbered by HUD! Oh, oh. oh they're still Somebody's piling up. In. Somebody's tumbling up on the outside wall ahead of this. I couldn't see who it was. There was one car up and over several times. There's more smoke over here, too. They might have wrecked again. Oh, my God. Oh, there's some... man. Pits are closed. Dad, go no. Oh. <sighs> oh, well. That's a ban. Uh, that was every single car in the field, I think. Well... Yeah. While we take our EpiPens in the booth, let's get a few replays and let's see what happened. Here we are going five wide down the back. It looks like the 37 is going to come up in front of everybody. Almost flip over the 75 and all that. He almost goes over as well. And they just keep getting collected, man. You see a bunch of them just all washing up to the outside. God. It might be easier to just say who wasn't in oh, the wreck. Oh, Bernhardt. Oh, Bernhardt just lost it. Oh, Bernhardt. Oh, in the Jackie oh, said. Oh. oh, and that was the car that went upside down. That was Jackie said. Oh, my gosh. Bernhardt Holy. again. Let's not forget Jackie tumble, said tumbles. a terrible tumble at Daytona in practice, not even in the race. Another flip this weekend. Good God. Thankfully, she got that thing woed up, but I don't know if uh, she's going to be a contender here at the end. Take another look here at a, another angle. As you see the 37, he just kind of gets turned into Walter here. And just, that's when all hell breaks loose here. You see Lawful going for a ride. LW, who's been strong in it. Other drivers involved here. Looks like the 19, the trousers. Todd, the stain trousers, oh. that is. Oh, oh, hard contact there. That was your car, Kyle. Yeah, Neat. I'm gonna. He will not be eating or drinking this week. We're gonna get him prepared oh, for this. Oh, it's all right. I think Dad Gum punished him enough there. Oh, fragile. Oh, I'm gonna oh, call him fragile again. Fragile Fred just piling on in again. That's and not just, what that 28 team needed, guys. A lot of cars involved in this. I don't know how many of these cars are actually like damaged to the point where they're not gonna be up to full speed, but it's uh that was that was a huge crash, all things considered. Running on board the three car here, the indigestionator. He's in the middle of like seven wide. They also just hit one another. He mostly gets out of this okay, kind of unscathed. Gonna almost hit Dad Gum there, but then gets through the grass and the thing just spins on him, just completely loses it. Oh, and here comes Jackie said, Oof. and there goes Jackie Hello. said. Hello. Oh man, and he got hit a few times too. Dig a dub up there. He's all torn up. He's gonna need some tums after that one. So, uh, fun fact, actually, I found out about Tums. Um, you actually cannot and should not eat those as candy. Um, apparently, it will cause problems later in life, uh, specifically kidney stones. So anyone who may or may not, I don't know who this person was that was eating Tums like candy for a long time. Uh, just don't don't eat Tums like candy. Especially don't eat 40 in one day. I don't know. Well, we're all adults now. Don't have to worry about kidney stones anymore. Sure. Uh, field doubles up in turn three. Somebody's tripling up. Who's that? Is that Harvey Quinn? Yep. It is Harvey Quinn. Slow shit. Ran out of funding. You hate to see it. Um, they're going to come back into the pits to try to sign a sponsor. Uh, I don't know. Good luck, fellas. But we got a race to run. 15 to go here on this restart. Restarting on lap 36. Pretty short race, guys. This is kind of flown by. We've seen some of the best racing ever. So feels like we've only been at it for five minutes. Nonetheless, Joppel Moore and Filet Mignon once again will lead us to the green flag. I really hope they can sign a sponsor, guys. That's very sad. 
I've never seen one of those before. Actually, one time, I guess. Jennifer Jo Cobb, but... Didn't... Oh, who's in the wall now? What's making that noise? I don't know, man. I think, I think Jason's hit. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, big contact there. CJ, Jackie again. The Colonel got a piece of that. We got to race back to another caution, guys. Jason just stopped. He's coming back out. Well, <laughs> Jason just crashed wrecking. that car. <laughs> As we get the backup pace car out, it looks like they're going to be four or five wide. Oh, go, oh, go. go. Oh, oh. Oh, He almost assassinated Clink Bottles. We almost clinked our last bottle. We see here this group all bunched up right behind the imitated himself, the 28 car, fearless or fearful, I guess, in this case, Fred Bush. He's just going to get hooked on the tow hitch, what Jackie said. CJ Simpson, nowhere to go, hard in the wall. And then poor Colonel Caleb Rose. He's found a way to be in every wreck and then some today, guys. That 59 is cursed. Take a look at the replay when Jason brought it back into the pits. We have to pay for that, man. What's he doing? It's coming out of your paycheck, Jason. Oh. Guys, are we sure that he's actually driving that car? We heard the command earlier. It didn't sound like Jason. And now he's wrecking the pace car. That's very un-Jason Payson-like. Well, guys, it's about that time. We're going to have 10 to go on the restart. I think it's time we made ourselves some picks. Mike, who are you going with today? For me, it's going to be that nine car, Wyatt Wilkinson. I said I don't know he's going to ha handle the uh, night races this season, you know, deer in the headlights type of situation. But there are no lights here. It's dark as shit. I think he's going to be able to be victorious because of that. Justin? We're gonna have to move back quite a bit here, but you know, he's not too far back when you think about it. Look at that O2. That's right. Scubs Nation is gonna get a dub today. Anthony? Big fan of Giuseppe Gabagulli. He's been able to make the bottom work. I think he's, uh, and he's Italian, I'm Italian. I gotta pick the other Italian in this field, so uh, Gabagulli for the win, please. Well, I'm gonna go with the national hero himself, David Gutterball, the sentient bowling ball. He's gonna win it in that 21, restarting 10th on this restart. And we're green. At 54, he's gonna get shot doing that. You can't pull out a line until you get to the line. The 18's had a good restart every single time, and now that he's on the inside, he's just probably gonna get cooked. As we hear, Jason once again hit the wall for some reason. Thankfully, that won't draw a caution. As we're three and four wide, I probably won't have to wait long to see him again anyway. You know, I know we just mentioned him briefly, but he's had a really quiet race. That is the 0-2 of Scubs, who's making it four, well, a part of the four wide action here. And, you know, the nice thing about it is, because we haven't said his name, he hasn't really been involved in anything. So, he's, he's kept it clean as we see Joplin Morgan in the wall there a little bit. But he's in the lead oh. right now. <laughs> That's Wyatt, I believe, at least at the line. But Giuseppe's going for it, four wide. He's going to clear him again. He's ripping that bottom line, guys. There's I not been a I'm single car. Oh, look at Shea Bird's moving his way through there. Oh! Oh, oh no! Hold on, or, hold on, or, Scubs. Oh, they're wrecking above no, it, though. they're wrecking up there, though. Kobe Keith. David Gutterball missed one. Hell yeah. Oh, and oh. then subverts oh. into Storm Varnon in another one. They get dub. Oh, oh Jackie. Jackie, oh, Jackie said, said oh. I want to be in the wreck, too. Jackie just absolutely clobbered. I think it was Kobe. Caution is out. Oh, we have to four the wide coming back to the line. Oh. Who got it? Victory Elena, looks like. By two one billionths of a second over the 50 car and the 54 car. Well, guys, we cursed him. You see, Scubs just gets bodied by the six down the track, but they saved it. But you see, you see. <laughs> oh, man. Kobe just went up the hill there. Lemmy gets in that wreck. Cease and desist got a little bit, but kept on going. But back here is where things really started to unravel. That 27 is back there. The 67 gets clobbered by Ollie. And then here oh. comes Jackie said, Oh, Jackie, oh, what my... are you doing? Come on. Oh. Dude, we just said it. He's been in every wreck. Couldn't even miss this one. Unbelievable. Oh, that looks a little terminal Roseanne. for Jackie also. On board with Jacqueline said. Just straight through this. Following the skid marks like railroad tracks. Didn't lift at all. You gotta think Crew Chief Boris saying is furious. I wonder what he is saying on the radio after that one. Made no attempt to miss the wreck whatsoever. My god. Oh, watch out. They're good. Roseanne. Well, guys, we're getting down to it. You said it, Tristan. To what? We're underneath to it. We're underneath our uh, crafting table 10 to go. Gonna and by it, I mean my peanuts. Hey, Payson. Payson goes in. I'm sure he'll wreck again. Or somebody who's driving that car is going to wreck again. But we're going green. Victor Elaine leading us down the way. Yeah, not for long. LW wrong with an awesome, 
awesome launch off the restart. He's surprise. Take... Go ahead. Surprise, surprise, the outside's working. I mean, it, it's worked on every restart. The leader's kind of looking foolish at this point every restart. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Anthony, but the, it's definitely the high side that tends to uh, obviously prevail, not just here, just in general. Uh, you would think yeah, the leaders would take advantage of that more often, but... Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, they're playing hard to get, honestly. I kind of like that. You know, guys, I'm starting to think, what if the 75 car, when he locked up there, what if that car was dropping a bunch of oil? Maybe it all settled in right in that bottom groove. I know it started up top, but let's not forget. There is banking. It'll roll down the hill a little bit. What are we yapping about? There's three to go. LW Wrong's in the lead, and he's blocking. That 12 car looking real fierce on Scubs. the inside, too. Look at Scubs go! He's back! Look oh, at man. these They're... moves he's making. They'll be four wide in no time here for the lead. The, the bottom line, it seems like you don't need a lot of help to really hold your own down there. You make up so much time in the corner, it doesn't really balance out too much on the straightaway. They're Scubs. five wide. Look at Joplin Moore trying to take the lead. We're at two to go, boys! Asiago, Asiago is gonna have the inside here. I wonder if that's gonna stick. Oh. Three wide. It is. He's gonna at least get underneath that one car. They are four wide right oh, behind Preston. Man. The wall. Preston almost hooked that 12 car. Looks like we'll keep it going. Dude, Scott's oh. is trying oh, no. so hard. Oh, no! He's good. No, he's, he's gonna save it. He's alright. He's alright. Oh, 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 he oh, they're gonna wreck up the hill. Oh, oh. Steal. oh he don't oh, get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. hit. They are flying through there. All right, I think I think everybody's okay. We're racing back to the line. Asiago, Asiago, gonna lead us there. Oh, and we're gonna have one more attempt at this, at least, guys. Whew. I need to change my pants. All right, we got a replay here. We see Clink bottles just kind of come across Scub's nose there. And honestly, great save. If I was Clink at this point in the race, and I my race looked over, I'd smack the wall. Then we get some contact here with the O1, and it just all hell breaks loose. Yeah, a lot of heavy hitters here. Joplin Moore, LW Wrong. Todd Tristan, the Saint Trousers involved in another one. Tristan, how surprised are you that nobody ran into LW there? Because I mean, or I'm sorry, Seal Park. Because I mean, he's just he's just a sitting target. All these guys are. I think it benefited him that he was wrecked on the top of the racetrack and nobody was ripping top at the time. But damn, these cars need to slow down for these wrecks. Like, we're gonna we're gonna really hurt somebody one of these days. Foreshadowing. We killed somebody two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, we sure <laughs> did. Take another look here. There you see clink bottles going off. Never mind that. This is what really brought out the caution here. It looks like Joplin Moore just ran LW wrong out of room here. Uh, Shave Burns also involved. Well, slightly involved, I should say. Really, it was just between those four cars that you see spinning. I don't think anyone else really was involved. Um, just unfortunate, especially for the uh, zero one in the fifty. They were some heavy hitters today. God, man, very lucky to not get hit by any of those cars. Absolutely, and you don't want to hit Steel Park. That's a that's a stub toe waiting to happen. And you got to think too, guys. Last season we saw how many people were right on that cut line for points. Everybody in this wreck just lost at minimum twenty points, unless something crazy happens here. Coming down to what could very well be our last restart here at Auto Club. Asiago Asiago leads the way. Filet Mignon on the 55th time restarting on the front row. Probably going to get the lead based on recent events. That high side has been flat flying. Cam Arrow in third. Victor Elaine in fourth. And Scubs running out our top five. We you guys. are green. Cam Arrow pretty... wasting no time, not helping the 54 at all. He wants, he's taking, he's, he's, he's selfish. And you know, they almost had a really even restart until then. Yeah. Oh, he's going to make it work, I think. No. Look, Gabagooly. <laughs> Come on, Gabagooly. Here he comes four wide oh, on the bottom. No, oh, no. Got ball. I think he saved it. He's good. He's he down should. there somewhere. He should. He's, okay. he's gaining time. <laughs> Is that <laughs> legal? It, it's, I think it's legal on the, all the laps. They're four wide. <laughs> oh, they're coming back to the white. Are they going to Cam Arrow. New leader. Look at David Gutterball. David Gutterball's passing like 30 people on the bottom. We made it. This will be our only attempt. Next flag, which will be the checkered, it will end the race. It don't. Four. Also, Gapaguli in the fucking. He's in the mix here. Oh. Click models to the there's, lead. There's Wyatt one. Wilkinson looking below that, though. What is this? My pick. 
It's gonna come down to who wants to hold the bottom on the final uh, turn at this point. Oh my goodness! Here comes Gabagoolie, and here comes Krabbages, and here comes Massive Chris! Oh my god! Oh, five it's line. Line. it's gonna be close! Oxy, oh, oh, oh. Massive Chris is gonna get there first! Wow! <laughs> wow! What a massive day for a massive man in a massive series! Wow. From getting relegated from Cup last season to victory lane this season, they're gonna close down Zaxby's tonight, boys. Oh my god, and shout yeah. out to David Gutterball, a top 10. I had no idea who was gonna win there. All I want to say is eat your heart out, Mark Miles. They can pack race here at Auto Club. Oh, Holy. They're congratulating oh. him. Either that or no, they really it's... don't like that he won. It's just a friendly love tap, I think. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was something, guys. We're gonna take a lap of essentially this whole last lap from high above here on the Goonier blimp. They're four or five, pr probably gonna be six wide before it's all said and done. And look at that, guys. Just insane, the race winner. Man. The race winner was ninth, headed into the last corner. What? A He's on the apron. <laughs> He made it work. Saw he, a couple he, guys do it throughout the night, but he made it work when it counted. He passed oh, six man. cars on the apron. Wow. And tonight, that's incredible. That 97 car and Massive Chris is going to be awarded our Boomer Soft Hands Move of the Race. Wow. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Earlier in the race, there were cars on the apron. Do you think maybe he figured out, hey, that's fast, and he just kind of kept it in his pocket for the whole race? And poor Gabagooly showed everybody that move and on the last lap died to his own creation. What a fool. Gabafooly, if you will. And then once again, guys, David Gutterball, he almost got turned down and head on into the inside wall, but he gained time out of it and then got a top 10. I thought he was going to go for the win there, but you know what? After not finishing pretty much any ra after not finishing any race in the last season of two races, it, just so proud of him. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to do this next week, guys. We have had an amazing season so far. Two for two, I'd say. One for one so far in Cup. I'm sure we're in for a show tomorrow. And next week, if we're not just going to any regular track, we're making our road course debut, kind of. We're not going to count Avis. Although I'm sure Ginger Joe would beg to differ. That was Incredible. awesome racing. Thank you guys for having me for such an awesome race. Holy crap. Oh, thanks for being here. Holy, you you, you really lucked in on this one. This this is what tow car is, guys. And look at Blunt Biscuit up there, waving the American flag on yet another patriotic weekend in America. <laughs> All right, let's try to make sense of this. This is our winner. I know it doesn't seem like that, but this person goes on to win the race. In P15 right now, kind of stuck in the middle here in turns one and two. Listen to that, though. Foot to the floor, make it up as much time as possible. He sees all that pavement down low. Look at all that. Free real estate. He might have saw David get turned down there and thought, yeah, I could do that. And he's going to take a hard left here. Harrison Burton turns left, going to get right underneath crap and shits. Wipes him up the hill, and here he comes to the line. And nobody can do a thing about it. Truly spectacular fashion how he won that. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. It that was, was just... I insane that was such a good photo finish genuinely speaking and i understand with tow car the photo finish camera is a nintendo ds so it might sit take some time to get the rest of the field kind of ordered out for the results but we at least know who won hands down great great job for massive chris my god just truly one of the most incredible finishes we've ever seen in tow car like i, I just don't get how Splint Cup is going to compete with this tomorrow? Look at this. Massive Chris clear in front. They're four wide for second. They're like 30 wide for next. I don't even know what spot this is for, but they're still side by side. We're inside someone's car. Where else can you match the hey, energy yo. of tow car? This has been one heck of a race. I can't, can't remember the last time I was on the edge of my seat like that. I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat every week, but holy, I'll tell you what. This was, uh, this, this was something else. This was truly a special race, and... You know, I, I had my doubts earlier. I, I I'm glad that we I, I'm glad we went to this track, and I hope we can uh, have this track moving forward, uh, for as long as we possibly can. Anthony, what did you think about uh, your first tow car experience here in the booth? I genuinely hope this is not my last one. I had such a great time. This was unbelievable racing. Exceeded my expectations. I 
Really hope you guys can fly me back out to another race because the Chastains have been holding me hostage for the last couple of months in their basement in Florida, and I'm, I'm getting a little sick and tired of the smell of watermelons at this point. Guys, how do we tell him he's fired? Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, here from Auto Club, uh, amazing race today. Amazing race. Hopefully ahead of us on the schedule. We got eight more weeks to go in both series. Nine if you count tomorrow's race for the Cup Series. Who's that still doing last? Flamin' Young? Yeah. Brother, go home. Well, from the back rooms here at Auto Club to wherever you might be listening to this, thank you. And good night. Whose chrome wheel that is? Lost 41 spots to a 40 second place finish. Criminal.